Procedures for installation and use of wheel components. Installation of wheels. Insert the axle from the outer side of the wheel into the wheel hole and put on the gasket. And then insert the axle through the corresponding mounting lug on the chassis. Fix with circlip. Installation of support legs. Align the shock absorbing seat with the mounting hole on the bottom of the support leg and fix with bolts and nuts. Align the support leg with the mounting hole on the bottom plate of the chassis and fix with bolts and nuts. Use of pushing handle. Take the pushing handle out of the slot over the panel and lift it. Take the pin hanging on the chassis and insert it through the strip shape opening on the handle and turn 90 degrees counterclockwise. To put down the pushing handle, turn the pin 90 degrees clockwise and remove the pin and then put the handle into the slot over the panel. Use of semi-maintenance battery. Remove the tin foil on the battery surface. Removing the sealing strips of the electrolyte. Align the electrolyte with the dosing hole of the battery and fill slowly. Be careful not to leak. After filling, Mount the sealing strips into corresponding dosing holes. Engine Startup Inspections before startup Check for appropriate engine oil level. Check for sufficient fuel oil. Disconnect any electrical equipment that is connected to the generator unit and turn off the circuit breaker. Check for proper grounding of the generator unit. If electrical starting is needed, please check for sufficient battery power. Engine startup. Turn the oil switch to on. Turn the engine switch to on. Remote starting. Gently press the Start button on the remote control. One push starting. Press the switch button and hold till the green light flickers. About 0.5 seconds. And then release the button. Manual starting. Put the throttle to close position. To start up the engine, hold the handlebar of the kickstarter and pull it gently until you feel some resistance. And then pull it quickly to start the engine. Electrical starting. Put the throttle to close position. Turn the switch button to start and keep the position till the engine is started. Release the button to make it return to on position after the engine is started. After successful startup, put the throttle lever to close position. Connection of electrical equipment. Connect the appliances to the generator 15 seconds later, after the engine started. It is required to ensure any equipment to be connected is off. Turn on the AC circuit breaker. Start up the electrical equipment. Engine shutdown. Turn off the circuit breaker and unplug all electrical equipment from the generator panel. Put engine switch to off. One push startup. Long press the switch button till shut down. Approximately 3 seconds. Shut down by remote control. Gently press the stop button on the remote control to shut down the engine. Turn the fuel oil switch to off. 
Maintenance. Add engine oil. Put the electrical generator unit on a horizontal surface. Remove the dipstick and wipe it clean. Add engine oil till the oil level reaches the lower limit, H, on the dipstick. Turn the dipstick clockwise till it is completely locked. Replace engine oil. Put the electric generator unit on a horizontal surface. Turn the dipstick counterclockwise to remove it. Remove the drain plug to drain the engine oil completely. Install and tighten the drain plug. Add new engine oil till the oil level reaches the lower limit, H, on the dipstick. Tighten the dipstick. Maintenance of air filter. Remove the filter cover. Remove the foam filter element. Wash it with liquid detergent. Wrap it in a clean fabric and squeeze to make it thoroughly dry. Reinstall the element and cover. Clean the filter bowl of carburetor. Open the filter bowl on the bottom of the carburetor. Wash the bowl. Mount the O-ring and the bowl. Check and adjust the valve clearance. Remove the cylinder head cover. Gently pull the starting handle to the top center compression position. Both valves completely closed. If adjustment of valve clearance is required, adjust as follows. Hold the shaft end of the valve seat and loosen the lock nut. Turn the shaft end to reach designated clearance. Hold the shaft end of the valve seat and tighten the lock nut. Check the valve clearance after the lock nut is securely tightened. Simple troubleshooting. Motor startup failure. Whether the switch is put to on position. Put the switch to on. Whether insufficient fuel oil. Refill the oil tank. Insufficient engine oil. Add engine oil. Ignition failure. Clean or replace the spark plug. No output from the electric generator. Circuit breaker not on. Turn on the circuit breaker. Inappropriate cable assemblies or extension cable. Check the cable assemblies.